Thank you. Uh, <coughs> I'm Chao Xu from Chinese Academic of Science. <coughs> I feel very honored to give a presentation <coughs> in crypto. OK, this is my outline of my presentation. <coughs> uh, mainly have five parts. Uh, let's start with some Bluetooth devices. Uh, Bluetooth devices <coughs> is most, almost everywhere in our daily life, such as telephone, laptop computer, and uh, keyboard, and so on. Um, so we can see that uh, the security analysis uh, of Bluetooth is very, is still have <coughs> very important. Uh, Bluetooth use E0 to protect the privacy. E0 is a stream cipher uh, formalized by Bluetooth, Bluetooth Special Interest Group in 1998. <coughs> uh, it is consists of LFSR and uh, uh, financial uh, finance state machine. Um, it has 128-bit key and 74-bit IV. <coughs> when encryption, message is XORed with a key stream. Uh, Bluetooth has three important features. Uh, uh, E0 has three important features, uh, make it very hard to be broken in practical. First, uh, E0 apply to level shame. Second, uh, the long, longest key stream is 2,755 bits per frame. Uh, third, <coughs> uh, the same user key can be used with 226 different IVs. Uh, this picture shows the three part of E0. The first part uh, perform initialization. The second part um, generate the key stream bits. Uh, the third part perform encryption and the decryption. E especially the key load key generator and the key stream generator are the same structure. So let's see the key stream generator of E0. It is consists of four LFC, LFSR and uh, uh, FSM with four memory bits. The output ZT is XOR the four outputs of LFSR and one memory bits. Mm. The update function at every time generates two new memory bits, ZT plus one. Mm. This, is, this picture shows the whole worker process of E0. And so <coughs> first, uh, the RF LFSR in the first level are initialized linearly by K and RV. Mm, then the, the first level generates 200 bits key stream. Uh, then only the last <coughs> 128 bits are used to initialize linearly the LFSR of the second level. Uh, last the second level generates 2,745 bits key stream per frame. Mm, against attacks against E0, most of published attacks <coughs> work, uh, work only on the impractical long frames uh, of key stream and only applied to one level E0, which remains a uh, <coughs> Uh, academic interest only and have little impact on the impractical use of Bluetooth. Uh, the key recovery attack on two level E0 uh, proposed by Yilu and Serge Wagner in 2004 is a near practical attack, but uh, the frame is bigger than 2 to 26. Uh, in 2005, um, Lou, Mir, and uh, Wagner uh, proposed a practical attack. Uh, it, it is based on the conditional correlation attack. Um, 
next, I will simply introduce the, this attack. Denote xt. Uh, xt denotes the four memory bits of FSM, and uh, bt denotes the four bit output of LFSR. Then the output of FSM um, is computed by xt and bt. Uh, we can, from the picture, we can see that the only nonlinear function is FSM. So if we approximate the FSM by a linear function, the E0 will become a linear system. This gives a basic idea of the attack. First, uh, we approximate the FSM by a linear function. Uh, then we, found, uh, then uh, we can find that the output of FSM at different times um, is he heavily biased. Uh, third, we can use the conditional correlation uh, to investigate this bias. The condition is the L consecutive output of LFSR. Mm, we denote the L consecutive output of LFSR by BT plus one, and uh, the output and uh, the air executive outputs of uh, FSM by CT. Uh, so the target function H is defined by this. Uh, the, <coughs> the condition is BT plus one, and uh, the only unknown input is XT plus one, where gamma is a linear mask. Mm, in, this picture shows the computation process uh, of, of, the, of, of, the fun, of the function H. Uh, the red symbol represents the condition, and uh, the unknown input is X. So we can compute C, CT0. Mm, it is shows that given bt plus one, the function h is heavily biased. Mm, uh, okay, in the conditional correlation, we usually use the mathematical expectation to represent <coughs> the correlation of, of h based on the different value of condition B. Uh, this is a procedure of zero attack. First, <coughs> uh, build, we can build the linear approximate of two level E0. Uh, second, <coughs> construct a statistical distinguisher. Third, uh, we can get the key and uh, compute the output of LFSRB. By this, <coughs> uh, force uh, submit the, <coughs> the gas case and the key stream to the distinguisher. Uh, last, we use fast walls transform to recover the red key. Mm, if we assume the bit length of condition B is L, we can get the complexity of this attack by the theorems, uh, series of statistical distinguisher and uh, FWT algorithm. Mm, there are some questions about their uh, attacks. First, uh, they use 20, uh, uh, 64 gig, uh, gigabyte table to perform FWT. <coughs> This, this will take much more time than the theoretical estimate because we, uh, we have to stay this large table in the hard disk, not in the REM. Mm, second, uh, in their advanced attack, uh, the pre-computation has to be done for each gamma 
because the high complexity of their precomputation, uh, so the, 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 their experiment is not very practical. Mm, third, they only do 30 times experiments with lower frame than theoretical estimate. Uh, next, uh, each possible key have, <coughs> have uh, 256 equivalent keys. In, we can see that if the red key does not rank first, <coughs> the complexity will become larger. Next, the, um, because only do 30 times experiments, we cannot <coughs> uh, evaluate the, um, the, the prob probability of success. Next, uh, it, it is very hard to repeat their experiment because uh, large table and high time complexity. Mm, next, I will detail the int introduce our work. First, we study the unconditional and the conditional correlation uh, 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 on Bluetooth. This First, uh, this, definition, this definition gives the distribution of function, uh, uh, the, oh, sorry. This, this definition gives the bells of uh, blue, uh, uh, of variable x. And uh, we found many <coughs> unconditional correlation that cannot be found by previous formula proposed by Lu. And then <coughs> we give a complete formula to compute the unconditional cor correlation of E0. This theorem uh, gives a recursive formula that can, be, that can compute all the unconditional correlation of Bluetooth E0. Uh, we, and we use this formula to compute the unconditional correlation of length up to 10, while the previous work only compute to 6. This solves the problem proposed by Golic. Uh, next, <coughs> I will introduce the condition masking. Mm, let's, let's first see some definitions. The distribution. This defines the distribution of function f, SEI, the <coughs> squared Euclid imbalance of a distribution df is defined by this equation. SEI measures the, uh, <coughs> the distance between the target distribution and the uniform distribution. Uh, in, this, in our paper, we also called uh, SEI the uh, uh, co correlation. Mm, next, I will give the condition mask. H is a Boolean function with two inputs. B and X is defined as before. In E0, B is the output of LFSR, so it is the <coughs> key-related material. We call it the condition vector. In brief, the condition mask is similar to linear mask. In conditional correlation, we can also denote a mask of condition. Uh, the condition lambda determines uh, which bits in B are the condition. We denote this bits by B prime and uh, the remaining bits denoted by B star. OK, now the condition is changed from B to B prime. Also, the target function is changed. <coughs> now the condition is B prime, and H uh, have two unknown inputs, X and uh, B star. 
this condition is determined by lambda not all the k related bits. Uh, and this function gives a large <coughs> class of correlation condition on both linear mask and uh, condition mask. Now, how to compute the bells of this function? Uh, it is just the same as before, except that now the condition became b prime, and the unknown part b star is uh, another input of S FSM. Uh, for different value of lambda, which correlation is good? This property tells us that if the condition mask lambda equal O1 vector, the correlation is the best. If uh, the condition mask lambda equal, equal to zero vector, the the correlation is the smallest. Uh, this table gives an example uh, on condition masking. Uh, based on these parameters, the condition became Bt plus three, and the correlation is two to negative 3.7. Okay, the, the basic idea of our attack, we observe that the correlation condition on the four condition vector B is <coughs> maximum in the value, but it is not generally optimal in the global time memory data complexities. If lambda not equal all one vector, then the time memory can be exponentially reduced. The basic idea is that choose the condition mask lambda carefully and uh, get better trade-off on time memory date complexity curve than lambda equal O1 vector. <coughs> uh, how to choose good condition mask? We think that not all the bits in condition vector B have the same influence on the correlation. Some are important than others. We found that in E0, only the latest four bits of Bt plus one determine the magnitude of the correlation. For example, in this picture, Bt plus L minus two is the most important. So in Condition masking, we only guess these four bits, uh, not all the uh, condition vector B. The time memory complexity will greatly decrease. Uh, this is a basic bitwise attack on E0 with condition masking. First, <coughs> we choose the uh, condition mask and the linear mask. Then compute the bells of H, which is defined as before. And we define a thin function of H. When the bells of H is bigger than zero, we define the, this function by one, otherwise, uh, otherwise it's equal to zero. Uh, third, we compute the linear mask, <coughs> the linear approximation of two level E0 based on condition masking. Sorry. This is an approximation based on condition masking. We know that now the <coughs> condition is B prime, not B. Under the under the above approximation, we denote the sub K. K1 is <coughs> the condition of H, and uh, K2 uh, is defined by this. On the left of this approximation, 
And then we distinguish the correct key from the wrong, wrong ones by this function. This function is combined the uh, same function and uh, the, the right of this approximation. And if n frames are available for each possible key, we compute the value of f by, by the definition n times. Next, for the right key, the correlation of f is bigger than zero. We expect uh, f equals one most of the time. Mm, ne next, submitting this symbols to a distinguisher based on n on condition masking to recover the right key. Uh, sorry, only, only two, two minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a basic idea. Use <coughs> multiple uh, use multiple linear approximation simultaneously to reduce the data complexity. Uh, first, uh, uh, based on uh, bitwise attack, we choose some other approximation. Then we extend f to a uh, s-dimension vector, just like this. Uh, next, for the red gas k, we have the correlation big than, <coughs> than zero. For the wrong gas, the component of S dimension vector F are uniform distribution. This, this, is, this is two example of uh, based on condition masking. We can say, see that uh, with, <coughs> with the vector approach, the data complexity is lower than the previous attack. Mm. The last part is the practical implementation of our attack. Our attack has been fully implemented on one curve of a single PC. Uh, we choose the parameters uh, as following, and we use two approximation. Our pre-computation is very uh, is very small, only in the four <coughs> megabyte table in REM, and the two seconds to recover the <coughs> the sub k compared with the pre, pre previous attack with 37 hours and uh, 64 gigabyte table. Uh, we repeat our attack 6,000 times with different random generated key and RVs. Uh, and we, take, we also take the first 20, <coughs> 256 candidates as a possible key. This is uh, some condition mask that can improve the previous attack with lower pre-computation time, uh, frame memory complexity. Okay. The last is a conclusion. <coughs> I think we think the new method is generic and uh, applicable to other stream and block cipher as well. It is our future work to study the practical cipher test only attack on the real Bluetooth encryption sham. Use use the condition masking method. This table uh, gives a comp <coughs> comprehension of our attack with the previous attack. We can see that our attack with, <coughs> with greatly reduced in pre-computation time and the memory complexities. Okay, that's all, thank you.